Hey y'all, it's me Charity here at Lady Luck Tutorials on YouTube and today I'm going to be talking to you about the basics of eyeshadow. Now before I get started, please note that I am not a professional, not claiming to be. These are just things that I've learned along the way in life. Now mind you, I did not start wearing eyeshadows until I was about in my 20s because I didn't know how to wear eyeshadow. Honestly, I didn't think eyeshadow would work on my eye. But then, you know, started seeing other people wearing it, started seeing different videos and whatnot on eyeshadow, and I thought, I can do this. So, I've got my products laid out here. I've got primers, brushes, and a few different eyeshadows. For me personally, I think it's best not to just go straight in with eyeshadow. As you can see, I have a bare face here. So you have two options. You can moisturize your eye and add any concealer you like by just applying it like you would concealer anywhere else on your face. Or you have another option of primers. There's all kinds of different primers. Really, it's up to you which one you like. I have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance here, but I personally love the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So you always want to start out with something on your eyelid instead of just going straight in with an eyeshadow. So basically what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put a little lotion on my eyes because I am going to be doing a little demonstration here. So I'm going to lotion my eyelids. This is not going to be a full makeup tutorial, so please make sure that you know ahead of time that I'm going to be looking this ugly the entire video. So I'm actually going to go in with, I'm going to go in with some concealer first. Concealer because I have like some veins up in my eyes and I kind of want those covered so I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of concealer and another thing I have some inner dark circles here so I want to mask them so you can see a difference here in the darkness and the concealer but now I'm gonna go in with my primer. Primer is uh, basically it's good for keeping your eyeshadow on, it's good for preventing creasing, and it also helps to make your eyeshadow show up better. So now that I have my eye primed and ready, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna basically go in to brushes. I have a little bit of variety here. Now mind you, you don't have to have expensive brushes. You can actually use the e.l.f. ones. They are awesome. Elf actually has a blending brush that's only one dollar and it is one of my favorites and I don't see it right now so I'm not able to show it to you. But I showed these two in my favorites video yesterday. These are blending brushes. So blending brushes are going to be fluffy and kind of loose because it's going to allow you to blend out that color better. This is more of an application brush. As you can see, it's kind of flatter and a little bit firmer. So you would use this to apply basically. Now something like this you could use to apply. You could actually use to blend a little bit too. This is from IT Cosmetics. It's the duo eyeshadow brush. And then a brush like this you could use to smudge out your bottom eyeshadow. I have a bunch of different brushes here but basically for application you'll look for a flat one like this. And most brushes actually will say what they're for. So application br brush would be like this. Blending brush would be like this. And every brush comes with different types of hairs and different types of sizes. So you really just have to find one that works perfect for you. Now getting into eyeshadows. I'm going to be showing you this palette and I'm actually going to be using this palette. This Too Faced Natural Eye palette is perfect for if you want neutrals. We've got creams. We've got different shades of browns. Um, we also have this shade here which is kind of like a shimmery champagne color. And we also have a gold here if you're interested in that. But these are neutral colors. These are just plain powder colors. I don't work with pigments that much. Pigments are like the loose ones. That's like a little pot and it's loose. Those are kind of hard for me to deal with. So I like stuff like this. I also have a MAC black here. Or you can use any kind of black you like. The other types of eyeshadows are these, which is like a cream which honestly I would not use a brush to apply. I would actually go straight in on my eye, very blendable, and it's just a cream shade. Basically, you wanna work with eyeshadows, you gotta know which kind works for you. Do you like the creams? They tend to crease sometimes, sometimes they don't. Basic eyeshadows like this that are already formed are really good. I mentioned this already that this was requested on Instagram by a girl named Savannah. Girl, I am so sorry. I forgot all about that. I was going to mention that. So here I'm going to show you just a basic. You've got different parts of your eye that are for different things. So this is what you call the brow bone. This is the inner corner. This is your crease. 
and this is just like the base of your eye. So what I'm going to do today, I'm actually going to go in with this color here, it's called Heaven. I like to use a neutral skin tone or a light shade all over my lid. This is also called your lash line. So I'm going to take this flat type brush here, I'm sorry, and I'm actually just going to pat that. And you can do this with any color. If you wanted it to be pink here or if you wanted it to be blue, whatever you want to do, you can do. You could just pat it on there like that. Or you could actually go in with your finger, which I like to do. It's easy. Go in with your finger, apply that, and blend it all over your eye. That is super simple. You could just pat or use your finger with a light shade. And there you go. Now I'm going to go in with this one which is the champagne type color. And I'm gonna put a little bit in my inner corner just to show you how to do it if you're interested in doing inner corner looks. You would just take a little brush and pat it in there like that. You can blend it with your finger or continue to blend it with your brush. Now I'm actually gonna go straight in with the blending brush to apply it in the crease. You can use a flat brush like I just did with the cream color to do it, just to kind of set it where you want it to go. Basically, you would just be setting it there and then blending it after, but I like to go straight in with the blending brush. So I'm going to pick up this color here called Cashmere Bunny, and I'm going to show you how easy it is. Picking some up on my brush, if you want, you can blow off or tap off the excess. And basically, I'm just going to start here and lightly swipe it into my crease. The motion I'm doing is back and forth, just like a windshield wiper. Or you can go in little soft circular motions, like that. Now I'm going in with my other blending brush and I'm just gonna blend that out. I actually really need a little bit more product, but that is a simple, basic technique for applying stuff in your crease. That's just a neutral color. If you wanna do the light color and then the black, I'm going to go right back in with the same blending brush, pick some up, blow a little off. Now you can use a piece of tape if you want to kind of mark that spot off where you want to stop or you can use your finger like I'm going to do here and I'm just going to lightly do that and then what I'm going to do is go back in that crease with the same motions small circles back and forth and you just blend it now I know this looks crazy. Then you can start going out a little bit and then downwards into your eyelid. I know I look crazy, but if I was to do my entire eye and all my eyeliner and all that, you would see that this actually looks really good, girl. I'm gonna pat a little more there, which is really what the flat brush is good for, but I just kind of like to use my blending brushes for everything. Now you see how that lines like that? You can actually just continue to blend just to soften it a little. And then another thing I like to do, if it's too harsh of a line, I'll actually pick up <clears throat> some light product and dust it over it like that so it kind of softens it. Or you could go in with a shimmery product like I used in the inner corner and actually just use that as a brow bone highlighter, like that. You can do it with your finger or your brush just remember to blend it all in. If you would like to do something on your bottom lash line with eyeshadow, you would just take a little brush like this flat, pick up some of your product, blow it off, and just softly swipe it across. Kind of makes it like a little eyeliner. Now, I'm not really taking my time in perfecting this, so please don't go thinking that I think this looks wonderful right now. I'm just showing you basic techniques of doing that. So it's super simple. Pick some up on your brush, pat it, and then blend. This is actually how I do my eyeshadow all the time. I've been doing this look for years. I kind of feel like it's my signature look. I just put it in the crease. You can make it come out even more if you want to or if you don't want it as much out there you don't have to do that and with colors it's just the same technique you put it where you want it to go basically now i already have these colors on here 
but I'm gonna go in with let's try a pink and I'm gonna take the pink with my finger and I'm basically just gonna pat it on my lid so then I kinda have a pink base here and a black smoky eye it's super simple it's not something you have to be afraid of what could I do? I guess I'm going to go back with a little more black. Not something to be afraid of. It's just something you just play around with until you, you get it. Another thing I've learned is to kind of hold your brush here so it's more softer and not as strong. Like, you know, like if you're writing with a pencil, you would be writing strong. If you kind of just lightly hold it at the back like a chopstick, it makes <clears throat> application a lot easier. But it's all about placement and blending. It's so easy to do. I know if I can do it, anyone can do it. It just depends on how you want your look to be and what colors you choose, where you want them to go. Remember, you got the brow bone, the eyelid, the crease, the lash line, and you have your lower lash line and the inner corner. I pick up some of this teal color here. I'm just gonna place it on my hand like this. So this could be applying. You could swipe like this or you could pat like this. And then blending is basically the back and forth motion or little small circles. And if you're not really good with brushes, you could even use a little sponge tip applicator. They're actually not that bad. Like to do some eyeliner, I would dip this in the black and then I would just with small strokes, swipe it across my eye, like this. Do this again. Let's prime the eye. I'm gonna put a little concealer. I'm doing a different kind of look though. I'm not going back with this one. This looks a little funny right now. I'm gonna prime my eye with my primer. And then I'm gonna go back in with my neutral colors. I'm gonna use my finger here to apply the light color. Just gonna pat it. I'm gonna use my little flat kind of brush here to Smooth it around, blend it around. I'm gonna go in with a, I'm gonna go in with the darker color here. I'm gonna use the Sexpresso. Blow it off a little. And then just basically start lightly applying it in there. My little circular motions and swiping to blend. I personally don't like to go too far in because I have like deep set eyes so it's kind of I don't want it too dark in there, it's already dark, so I just kind of stay from here out. If you wanted a sharper line on the side earlier, like I said about using my finger, you could do this and you can actually just use that as a blockage. And if you notice, it kind of creates a line here. And then you would just kind of go in and blend that out. If you want to keep it a sharp line, girl, you can. Kind of looks like a cat eye with eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is all about just applying it, blending it, where you're going to put it, where you want it. I look crazy. But see, here's a more rounded look. And then here's the more sharper edge. Man, I am looking a mess right now, girl. Then you would just go in with your eyeliner and go boop, 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 whatever you want to do. Your look is completely up to you. Your face is your design. This is the palette, girl, and you are the artist. You are the painter. You create whatever kind of look you seriously want. Just a little dabbing, a little swiping back and forth. Blending is key. Placement is key. Just remember your little places. You're like, oh yeah, my inner corner, my brow bone, my eyelid, my crease, my lash line, and my bottom lash line. Like I said, this is not a makeup tutorial. This was just to show you how to apply it. And this was a terrible, terrible visual here for somebody learning eyeshadow. They would look at me and be like, girl, no, I am not going to be doing that. You look terrible. I'm not going to take your advice. I was just showing you how to apply, okay? I was not like dead serious putting my makeup on. I hope I answered some questions here today. And I hope that you were able to learn something. Don't follow my steps as to what I did today. But try out the steps I said about the padding, using your finger, using a sponge, and get a good little blending brush. Like I said, e.l.f. has one for a dollar. Trust me, it's worth that dollar because it is a good little blending brush. And you just do side swiping motions like this. 
or little circles like that. Like I said, if I can do it, I know anybody can because I'm pretty dumb. I'm like a caveman. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from me today. I know I look cuckoo. Please don't tell me. And yeah, that's all I have to say for now. And I will see you later. Like my video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And if you're already subscribed, well then I thank you very much. Okay, so FYI, the clips you just seen was basically me showing you placement and movements and stuff like that. But now I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup. I'm going to have this fast forwarded and silent so I'm not taking up too much of your time. I've already applied my moisturizers, my primers, my foundation, my concealer and all that. So I'm just going to go straight in to my eyes. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette because it's really what I've been liking lately because it is pretty neutral colors and I like these colors. So let's go. We're barely breathing. This is what it should look like. I just swiped it and swirled it into my crease. Next, I'm gonna do eyeliner. I'm going to go in with one of these shadows again and I'm just going to lightly line the bottom lash line. If you wanted to, go in with your finger, get a little eyeshadow and barely swipe it across like that to kind of smudge it a little extra. A trick for more open eyes is you could use a flesh colored pencil or a white pencil and line your waterline. It makes your eyes look bigger. If you line with a black pencil, your eyes will look a little bit smaller. I actually like either way. Now I'm gonna go straight in with mascara. If you put on your eyeshadow and you happen to make a mistake with your mascara like how I just got it on there, all you have to do is finish doing your mascara, allow that to dry on your eyelid for a little bit and then go in with a dry q-tip and just kind of swipe it off. Of course my battery died as I was trying to finish up my video. I went ahead and added a little blush off camera and I used my favorite matte lip color from e.l.f. and I am finished with this look. I really hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something from me today. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Whoa, wait, I already said all that like 20 minutes ago. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching and thanks for requesting this Savannah girl. I got your back.